What is going on my people? How is everybody doing and how is everybody thrilling? And today, my people, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I got a very special video for you all today. So, today I'm gonna be showing you all how to make an incredible Clint Capella build. So first thing first, right? We're gonna get right into the build. So I'm gonna show you the attributes for what Clint Capella has, but I'm gonna give you my version. It's gonna have a 99 block. So we're just gonna go through the attributes, right? 95 standing dunk, that's amazing. That's gonna give you a lot of great badges when you go 95. Standing dunk is gonna be crazy. The big man contact, you know, uh, under the basket contact dunks is gonna be incredible. So he's an inside, he's a paint piece. He's an inside center. He's good for getting rebounds. He's good for, you know, protecting the rim. And that's really what this build is. You see, no shooting. So this is not a shooting build. Free throw is low, but I'm gonna show you my version of this build, all right? So post control, most likely, I'll probably just go like 70 post control. Just, it just looks better, you know? Pass accuracy, so ball handling, all that stuff is very low. So Clint Capella is not known for his shooting or playmaking. He's more for his inside presence and his rebounding. So as you can see, right? That 86 interior defense is really, really nice. And then you have the 78 block. That to me is decent. It's decent, but it's not gonna get the job done. When you're 6'10 and you have a long wingspan, trust me, it's not gonna get the job done. But the offensive rebound is really, really good as well. You get that gold um, rebound chaser, which is really, really good. And then you see the vert and the strength is really nice. Strength 85, vert 80, that's a really, really good for a 6'11 center. So there's the inside center, your typical paint piece, you know, type of thing. You know, the pure red pie chart back in the day. So when I go to the badges, as you can see, this is how the badges is right here, right? Rise up. To me, that's kind of crazy because you have a 95 standard dunk. You do get the high, um, you know, standing dunk, which unlocks the rise up and the fast twitch. So he doesn't even have fast twitch, which is pretty interesting. Then you got the vice grip, which is, makes sense. And as you can see, right? So post lock, rebound chaser, anchor, box out. So these are all silver, my people, right? So this is his build. So, so, so many people might want to go with this build. I wouldn't recommend it. I made a better version that still gives you shades of Clint Capella as number one. So we're going to go right now. I forgot the jersey number. I'm going to be honest. I was just looking at the screen and I forgot. But I'm going to just go zero, zero for right now, right? So we want to go six. I'm gonna go 611, right? Is it 611 or 610? If I'm not mistaken, it might be 610. So we're just gonna do this right here, all right? So let me look at the attributes again. All right, so 611, right? Then you wanna leave it at 253. Then you wanna max out that wingspan. 79, my people, all right? The body shape, I just left it at solid. So now, what I did for this build, right? We already saw the attributes, but I made it a little better. So 85, of course, 85. That's gonna get you fearless, masher, uh, fast twitch. That is going to be amazing on gold. Great badges to use, right? Then you wanna go to a 75, all right? A 75 on the layup is gonna be really, really good. You wanna be able to have some type of layup attributes because you there's times that you wanna do a driving dunk or a standard dunk and 2K makes you do a layup. So you wanna be able to at least finish those layups that 2K put you in, it's very important. Then I went with the 80 driving dunk. Why? Because you wanna get that quick drops. And look at that, right? By going to 79, you get the limitless takeoff, but we're going 80 so we can unlock those quick drops, right? So this is a two for one special. The standing dunk, we're going to that incredible 95. So look at that, right? By going 95, right? We get rise up and just by, yeah. So yeah, we ain't worrying about that other stuff. So we got the area wizard on hall of fame. Rise up is on gold, my people. So this is gonna be really good to use. It's gonna be a great build. If you like inside centers, which a lot of people do, this is the build for you. So he had a 69 post control. I went with a 77, incredible, right? Incredible. So the 45, everything else here, you don't really wanna mess with. Um, I just went with a 70, cause I do wanna take this build to the park. I mean, to the wreck and go crazy. I'm a rec player, I don't do park. Sometimes I might do theater, but I'm a rec player. I like rec a lot. That's where I shine with the builds that I made. So you wanna go 70, you wanna go, I'm gonna move this down to 35, okay? 
and then now so you want to go 88 go 88 on the interior defense that's going to be incredible that's going to give you that brick wall on silver then you want to go 70 so you're going to be able to play the perimeter you know what i mean so you're going to play a little bit of the perimeter a lot of times um you know if you watch my Derek Rose videos, I have a 70 perimeter and I do pretty decent. So at 6'11", having a 70 is going to help you do some good things as well. It's, it's going to catch a lot of people off guard when you get a switch on and you're on a mismatch. 99 on the block, my people. Okay, this is a better Clinton Capella build. This is better. I'm telling you, this is way better than the one that I just showed you. 90 on the offensive rebound, which is really good. And then you want to go 93 on that good old defensive rebound that's going to give you that rebound chaser. So you see all the stuff that we're... This is a great build, my people. Actually, this has to go down to 80, 88. But you see the bronze uh, brick wall. Don't, don't even worry about that because we're going to be able to get that as high as we can. So you want to go 55 on acceleration. The strength, you want to go 91 on the strength, my people, you see? His strength was a, what, 85, I believe? But 91, you're gonna get the box out, great box out animation. You're gonna be able to get the worm animation. You're gonna be able to swim around people like it's nothing. This build is really good. And then you go 85, my people, okay? 85 is the max for the vert. And then the rest, you wanna go to that 90 stamina. And there it goes, 99. So 24, 0, 7, and 29. Look at this. This is a great inside big man. If I had this build maxed out with all of my badges and attributes, I would dominate. This is an incredible build right here, my people. An incredible build. And that's why I went, I was gonna go 90 strength, but then I went 91, because look at that box out. Very important, so we continue, right? So, as you can see right here, right? You have rim and glass. What I'm thinking, I wanna go stuff blocks and paint intimidation, that is cheese. But what I've been using lately with my Rodman is interior badge drop. And what did I go with? I went with glass cleaning dimes. These two is what I like. These two is what I like to go with. That's what I run right now. It's like most people don't care to drop an opponent's badges. I do, I think that's cool. So this is what you get. Look at all of the shades up, you know what I'm saying? Clint Compella is number one, but then you have Wilt Chamberlain. Are you kidding me? That is incredible. So we're going with the badges real quick. I don't want to make this video too long. All right, so let's get this, uh, let's get this to 99. So as you can see, right? Limitless takeoff, we get that off the rip. That's going to be phenomenal. Aerial Wizard, I want that at least on silver. Back down Punisher will be going silver. Uh, you can get Bully on gold, you know, if you're into that. But I don't use Bully. I don't really care for Bully. So these two I want. Fast Trips and Wise Up. Now, I want to get some Poster Wise Up. And then I'm going to go here. This is how I'm going to do it right here. Perfect. That's all I need. Now, playmaking. Uh, of course, I'm going to core my break starter, right? I'm going to actually, no. I'm going to core my vice grip i need that the highest possible and then i'm gonna go bailout this is all i care about if you don't care about bailout then you could mess with some of these up here but i'd rather just put this on bailout and just keep it just like that all right now for the defensive very important at least always go workhorse on bronze i want hall of fame here i'm uh, gonna put that on bronze so now we just opened up the floodgates right here so boom boom and then that brick wall. Now we have five to work with. Chase down would be cool to have, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't really think that I, mm, I don't really know. Like, I don't really think that you need chase down. I'll probably just go silver here for the brick wall. Cause you know, you got the strength already. I still wanna get literally like all of these just to have, I think that would be important. And then maybe go chase down on bronze. That's how I would do it. Or if you don't, if you don't want the box out on Hall of Fame, drop that and maybe put it here or you could um leave the workhorse and do something like this but you know it's, it's really up to you i think chain style just kind of broke so i'm gonna do it this way so y'all let me know what y'all thought about this build and until next time much love